going on guys? Steven Hamby here again with Den Hogs Paintless Dent Repair. Today we're going to be working on a Sportster gas tank. It's actually a numbered tank. It's number 29 of 100. So it doesn't look like they made too many of these. It's got a really nice paint job on it, like a metallic or pearl red. And a nice checker pattern going on on the top as well. It's a really gorgeous tank. Got the uh, rubber knee pads here on the side. We're going to be repairing this dent here on the side. It's a pretty large one. It's about the size of my hand roughly. It's got a deep crease going through it and unfortunately the Y in Harley has a little bit of a nick on it. Uh, but the customer's just going to touch that up with some silver touch up paint when we're finished with the repair. So we're going to get this set up on our vise in the shop and uh, get some heat on this and start applying pressure from the inside through the fuel, fuel opening and start shaping this damage back out. And uh, it's also got two little creases here in the black stripe that we'll be addressing as well. So when we're done, all this metal will be back straight and all it'll need is some silver touch-up paint. We're getting the vice system set up here to be able to mount the Harley tank to it. Um, the one thing I love about this setup is that literally you can configure any kind of gas tank or fender. It doesn't matter what the make and model is. We can adjust these bars to be able to mount any kind of part to it to keep it nice and stationary during the repair. going to go ahead and throw this out there prior to even attempting this. I am concerned about this deep crease running down through here. I mean this this large area is challenging in and of itself especially on a Harley tank. That thing's just got me a little concerned. I mean that's just completely caved that in. We're now down inside the tank with our paintless dent repair tools and we're using slow pressure to the back side of the metal, slowly shaping it back out and using that light as a reflection. We're also using a heat gun because of how deep and sharp that crease is. Without doing that, we would definitely be at a risk of cracking the paint. Because of how severely stretched this dent is, we actually had to spend a fair amount of time using a hammer and knockdown, taking the shoulders, which are the high spots around the center of the damage, taking those shoulders, smoothing them back out, which would then allow us to bring the center of the dent back up. So as you could probably tell in that time lapse, I got to this point where this deep crease, I just could not get it to come out. We got a little poke mark there. You can still see a little bit of a faint line where that crease was. The metal was severely stretched in the center of that. And when that happens, the surrounding metal, it just can't absorb that stretch. And as you try to push it, it ends up turning into a mound. So you end up having a knot sticking up with the metal dented in around it. Um, took a lot of uh, heat. At this point, I know it looks terrible. Sometimes with these repairs on gas tanks, uh, you know, the severity of the damage being considered, uh, sometimes it looks a little bit gross before it starts to clean up. But. So I want to expand on step three there, don't give up. Um, basically I put that in because I had given up at one point. I called the customer and told them that the metal was severely stretched in the center and that I wasn't going to be able to restore it, or at least not to a quality level that I would be happy with. And they pretty much told me, hey, you know what? We're either gonna bondo and repaint this tank or replace it. So even if you crack the paint, worst case scenario, just keep trying, do what you can, and uh, you know we'll be happy with whatever results you can give us. So luckily I was able to get it out. That was um, me wet sanding and buffing the tank after I finished the bulk of the damage. And here we're actually repairing those two spots that were in the black stripe that I mentioned earlier in the video, the two uh, smaller dents. So this is the finished result. And as you can tell, the damage is gone. I mean, it looks great. There was definitely several points in the repair that I didn't think I was ever gonna get it to this point. So I surprised myself and um, kind of pat myself on the back about that one. So we met back up with the customer, hand delivered this tank back to them, and they were absolutely blown away by this. Um, they were really surprised at how well it turned out. And they even sent us some photos of their bike after they got the tank put back on. All right, guys, again, I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. If you'd like to reach out to us about scheduling a repair, you can call us at 678-544-3004. Shoot us an email to denthogs at gmail.com, or you can find us at our website, dentrepairgeorgia.com.